Are you lacking a little bit of energy? Do you need a little bit of a boost? Or maybe you just want a tasty beverage. I got you covered. Introducing G Fuel, a sugar-free formula with loads of different flavors to choose from that'll give you a boost. These are a couple of the flavors out of the many that I really, really like. Now, G Fuel also has a non-caffeine line called Hydration, and these are absolute bangers containing a lot of electrolytes and vitamins. By using code SALT, you can get 20% off your purchase right now. Link in the description of the video. If you miss the SALT, it's not my fault. What's up with you? For today's video, we have a Okie Doggy Sweep. So this is the final of the LOL 3 that I wanted to cover for Pokemon Sweeps. And we have got a Poison and Fighting type Pokemon. So four times weak to Psychic. It's actually not very many Pokemon like that. And we have the ability Toxic Chain, which they all have. And we've got Guard Dog as well. I'm going to be looking at the ability Guard Dog. Because I don't think it's all that bad at all on a physical attacking Pokemon. Plus, i got a really fun item combination that works really, really well with it too uh, for a bit of fun. So, looking at its stats, it's pretty good uh, in uh, its attack and its defense. All the other stats are sort of just okay. Uh, we got a Battle Lee. I'm not really sure who the trainer's name is, but we have a Cresselia Lee. So, Cresselia is going to be a bit of a pain. So, I've got a Grim Snore Lee here. I mean Grim Snow, and I can see it's got Light Clay. So, obviously, they're going to be setting up these screens. I've got a Taunt and Parting Shot set here. So, uh, the, I nearly called it Lunatone. Cresselia is going to send me to the moon. I guess I was thinking of moons, and then, you know, the moon came up, and I thought of Lunatone. And now I'm going to Taunt the Cresselia, so I won't be able to set up any screens. I've got Thunder Wave and Parting Shot and Swagger as well. So, Thunder Wave was just there to uh, get a Paralysis on the uh, opponent, and maybe Swagger if I wanted to get, like, Parafusion. So I'm going to be able to live another Moonblast there, which is nice. And I got my special attack dropped again. I think that's the second time in the row. So I paralyzed the Cresselia. This Grimsail is like a bulky set. So it's like a max health and max defense. More of our physically bulky. And now I'm going to go for the Parting Shop there, dropping the Cresselia's stats. Because I want to see if I can get this uh, sweet right away on these legendary Pokemon. Let's get it, people. Well, there we go. We started the video off with a nice, fresh baby bottle. I guess they didn't like their Ursa Luna fainting. All right, this battle we have also, I've got no idea what the trainer name is, but we have a ginormous thumping uh, Palkia origin form, which is floating as well. So I'm going to see it's got its lustrous globe, obviously. Uh, but I've got Thunder, and I've also got Parting Shot here. It's going to be my main strategy. This thing is pretty fast, and it's very, very bulky too. Now they're going to swap it out, and they're going to be going into Zacyons. Like, okay, this is really, really good. This turn, I actually went for Thunder Waves. This Pokemon is very fast and hits very, very hard. Plus, it's going to be difficult to set up uh, against as well. So now they've swapped in, they've got their Intemperate Sword. I'm thinking about maybe going for Parting Shot and at least dropping that boost that it got and then maybe swapping one more Pokemon. So Zaceon's going to outspeed me still and I get paralyzed, which is very, very good. Now I can go for the Parting Shot here and that's going to drop its attack, which is great. I would have definitely have fainted to a Behemoth Blade there. You know, no worries. So swapping the Grinsoul out and now we're going to go into uh, Glimora. A very, you know, very, very rare lead. You never see this. So... 
This Glimora set is a Stealth Rock, Mento, Mortal Spin, and Toxic Spite set. All I really want to do is either set up the Stealth Rock or go for Mento. I decided to set the Stealth Rock over. I thought, whatever, let's get that up. Um, there are a lot of legendary Pokemon on the deck. They're all legendary Pokemon and very, very bulky. So now uh, we got the Zacian go for Behemoth Blade on the Glimora, and that is going to faint it in one shot. Also puts a layer of Toxic Spikes from the Toxic Debris on the field. All right, people, it's time for the Oki Doggy. Let's do it. So they quit with the entire legendary team and they had Psychic Arceus. I, I don't know what was going on there. Maybe they didn't want to lose a single Pokemon. Anyway, this battle, we're going to get it this time. This is a battle against our Skull and we have a Naughty Hack Shiny Hooper lead. Now, this, uh, this Glimora can probably do Memento and that's about it. I, I think, uh, I don't think I'll be able to get Stealth Rock up in, in both of these moves. So I went for the Memento there to drop these stats off the Hooper and I thought this is actually a good time to send in my Pokemon because I do have a nice Terra on Okie Dokie and I think it'll be some very good surprise. So that's it for the Glimora and it's Okie Dokie time. Let's get the sweep. And another salty baby bottle there at the end. I hope you enjoyed that sweet, people. I actually got um, my guard dog to activate twice, which was pretty funny. And we had the Adrenalorb um, activate too. So with Adrenalorb, what that does, it actually raises your speed when uh, you have your uh, attack stat lowered. Well, in that case, my attack stat got lowered. And that worked with guard dog too. So guard dog, I didn't have an attack drop. I had an increase, and I still had the effects of Intimidate 2, which gave me an Adrenal Orb, which gave me a boost in speed. So it's a nice little combination there, Guard Dog and Adrenaline Orb. Now, the moveset was pretty standard. We got Bulk Up, Drain Punch, Knock Off, and Gunk Shot. Uh, Jolly Nature and Max Attack. 
and max speed. And it worked rather well, to say the least. The only thing about this Pokemon is you pretty much, I think Terra Dark is the best on it because it is four times weak to Psychic. So you go Terra Dark to get around the Psychic. You can either set up that turn or get a surprise KO against another Psychic type Pokemon. And then you can go for like Terra Dark Knockoff, which is going to be very, very uh, powerful. But yeah, there was a lot of Rage Quits there. I don't know why. I think it might have been the Adrenaline or the Guard Dog or how much I got it set up really quickly. But anyway, people, that's all of the Loyal 3. And yeah, we'll have some more theme teams soon. Peace out, people.